Hey, today we're going to go ahead and unbox, set up, and review the Tempest weather system by Weatherflow. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and open the box first and look at it, and then I'll go over a bunch of specs, and then we'll set up the app, then we'll uh, see how well it works. So it comes with a little sheet, less than a five minute setup. This is the whole unit that you put outside. Also in the box comes the power adapter for the wireless hub, the wireless hub, the one inch pole mount adapter, and a screw. So we have a weather station that works really, really well. We really like it, and it was very cool of Tempest to go ahead and send this to us so we could check it out. It's kind of cool because this is the whole unit and there's no moving parts. It's interesting because it doesn't come with a separate display. It all works through an app on your phone, or if you have a smart home display, you can also view it through that. But the unit itself does not come with its own display. All right, so it has a light sensor right there. It'll tell you the ambient light, UV, as well as solar radiation. It's got a haptic rain sensor, sonic wind sensors that update every three seconds, pressure sensor, temp and humidity. It's got a lightning sensor. It's solar powered with a rechargeable lithium ion battery that's already inside. And obviously it's totally wireless. I'll have a couple links below. One, if you wanna check it out on Amazon and also to the Weatherflow website. One of the things that's really cool about this device is that it's compatible with smart homes and smart hubs and smart home devices. So here are some of the things that you can do if you have your home set up like that. You can adjust your irrigation based on rain that's fallen or rain that's going to fall depending on the forecast. Turn on attic exhaust fans if the pressure is high. Adjust heating and cooling depending on temperature and humidity. Turn lights on or off depending on the ambient lighting setting. And if you have a smart car, you can even turn on the engine block heater so the car motor doesn't freeze. I'm going to go ahead and do a full walkthrough on setting up the app. However, first I'm going to go over a few stats. I'll put the time below if you want to skip through the stats and just get to the actual setup for the app. Air temperature minus 35 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Relative humidity from 0 to 100%. Atmospheric pressure up to 1000 MBar. Lightning activity up to 25 miles away. Wireless up to 1000 feet. Wind speed up to 100 miles per hour. 0 to 359 degree wind direction. Ambient light 1 to 128 Kalux. UV index 0 to 11 plus. Rain onset as soon as the first drops hit. Rain duration for a daily total. Rain accumulation for a daily total. Adjustable pull mount or screw mount and a solar rechargeable lithium ion battery that is inside the unit already. Weatherflow has their own proprietary AI and weather sharing system. So this unit will go ahead and learn what the weather is and the weather changes in your area as well as being linked up with the other Tempest system to learn from them as well. The Wi-Fi hub connects to a 2.4 gigahertz wireless network. So keep that in mind when you're setting this up. Make sure to have your 2.4 gigahertz wireless network set up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up the Wi-Fi hub and then I'll be back to do the setup walkthrough for the app on uh, the phone. One of the suggestions is when you're setting this up is not to mount this in the permanent location right away, but to go ahead and have it somewhere nearby. I mean, obviously you can put it outside, but set up the whole Wi-Fi, get your app working on the phone so that way you can check it out without having to go up and down a ladder if you're mounting it on the roof or if it's gonna be on a pole outside higher than you can reach. So that way uh, you can start seeing how well it works and then decide where you wanna put it. And this can be mounted on a flat surface. It also uses the standard camera tripod screw as well as mounted on a one inch pole with the adapter. All right, so for the app, it's pretty simple. Go to your app store and search for Tempest. That'll come up. Go ahead and then download it. And the app is super easy to set up. So it'll ask you to use Bluetooth, ask you if you want notifications, you go ahead and then create your account, agree with the terms and conditions, enter your email, enter your password, and the setup starts. You set up the station, you gotta go and plug your Wi-Fi hub, there's the email from Weatherflow. Um, and then you gotta twist off the base of the actual unit, twist that off, there's a little on off switch, switch that to on, little green light comes on, put the base back together, put that back outside, hit next, then the uh, hub serial number is under the hub, 
enter the four-digit code in there. Go ahead and name yours. I just named this one Tempest just since it was temporary. It chooses your location. Now, these are for some of the other units, but you just go ahead and check your or choose your Tempest device. Then you set up your Wi-Fi network. Remember, 2.4 gigahertz uh, network doesn't work on a 5.0. Um, and there you go. That's I mean, that's how quick it is. And there is the the start page for the app. It has your obviously your forecast. It's got all the information that you need. I mean, it's it's a great app. And that was about how long it took. Obviously, I had to go back and forth to get the serial number and such. But it's super easy. You can obviously set it up for Amazon or um, you know the other smart home devices. Siri shortcuts. You can go in this in these settings. This is also where you can change if you need to make some micro adjustments for positioning and such. But super easy app. There's you can set up all different alerts, different display. It's a great app, super intuitive, and as you saw, it's super easy set up. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, now that we got the app all set up, let's talk about actually mounting the unit, which I don't have because it's on a tripod outside. I set ours up on a tripod so I can move it around, test different areas in the yard. Also, since I'm not permanently mounting it, I didn't need to go through all the trouble of doing that. Here's some mounting tips. They say to choose an open location with a lot of sunlight. Since it does work off a rechargeable battery, it's important to go ahead and have it get as much sun during the day as you can. During the testing of ours, we had some cloudy days and it never ran out of juice overnight or during the day. So it doesn't seem like it has to be direct sunlight all day, but it would definitely help, especially on those long winter nights. They say recommended installation is between six and eight feet off the ground. A lot of people will mount their weather stations on the roof. That's where we have our other weather station mounted and you can mount this on the roof. Their recommendation is just six to eight feet. So on the top of a fence, a fence post, six, seven, eight foot fence would probably be great, but you do want it unobstructed to the sky. So you don't want trees around or walls or other buildings. You want it in an area as open as possible. You wanna be careful not to mount it next to like a natural heat or wind in like an active chimney or near a vent. And again, we talked about how you could mount it up with a flat base or go ahead and mount it on a pole. And you can make your own pole mount using like Schedule 40 or Schedule 80 PVC or even a metal pole. You can buy all that stuff at the hardware store. And on the Tempest website, they show you different ideas of how to either make a pole mount or they even have some that you can buy. And with the pole, the outside diameter can't be more than 1.315 inches. Now, obviously the roof mount will work if you're like in a heavy wooded area. Where we live, there's a lot of big trees in and around our backyard. So I need to mount it on the roof to be able to get a clear sight line. They say to mount it at least three feet above your peak line. For accurate wind measurements, be sure there's no objects within six inches of the top of the unit. And also try not to have it up against any buildings or fences. Above buildings and fences is okay, just not up against them. Now, as far as orientation, the blue arrow on the side of the device, and again, I'm sorry, I'm not holding it. I'll try to insert a picture. The blue arrow on the side of the device in the Northern Hemisphere should point to true north. And in the Southern Hemisphere, the blue arrow should be pointing to the south. And remember that most smartphones have a compass app on them, so you can go ahead and use that to find out your true north and true south, depending where you are and where you're mounting it. And the alignment doesn't have to be perfect. If for some reason you're not able to get it, you can actually go into the app and do micro adjustments in the app. It's important to avoid vibrations when it's mounted. So if it is on a pole, like a flagpole on the top of a flagpole, and that flag is waving and it causes vibrations in the pole, that will change the readout of the device. Okay, so that's pretty much it with the installation of the actual unit. Let's do a quick review. I am very impressed with this unit. We've had a couple different weather stations. The one that we use now, we like a lot. This Tempest, if we didn't have the one that we're using now, definitely would be using the Tempest full-time. The only drawback for me, and this is the only thing, and this is kind of nitpicky, is that I like having a home display and not using my phone. I'm one of those weirdos that I don't walk around the house with my phone, and I like having the display. We have our setup in the kitchen, so in the mornings, we get up pretty early, walk the dogs. It's nice to just walk by and know what the temperature is, because one of our dogs gets very cold, and she needs a jacket if it's super cold. So. I am constantly checking the weather from our display, but that's just one little thing. For most people, I don't think it'll be a problem. Most people have their phone readily available. You can use it with your smart device just to ask what the weather is, so I think that's just a me thing. The unit works great. I had both of my weather stations set up at the same time, the Tempest and the other one that I used. Knowing that my other one is calibrated correctly, I was able to use that to see how accurate the Tempest was, and it was great. 
amazing. They're, the Tempest app is amazing. So easy to use, so easy to follow. The way that it's laid out, the display, super intuitive, super easy to read. Very impressed with this product. I think it's amazing. I like the fact too that the unit itself doesn't have a lot of moving parts. The battery held power throughout the whole time that we did our, our testing. We never had a glitch between the actual Tempest unit and the hub and the internet. Obviously weather flow isn't responsible for our internet being up, but I'm just saying there was no issue whatsoever. The unit itself seems to be made very, very well. It's heavy duty. It feels like it would survive r tough winters, hot summers, sun, snow, sleet, all of that. Very impressed with the build of this product. I do want to say really quick, I'm not paid for this uh, review, so I'm not saying nice things because I have to. I really like the product, and if I didn't, I would be more than happy to tell you about it. I think between the build, the tech that this product offers, and the app, you can't go wrong with buying one. It's, it's a very, very good unit. All right, thanks so much. Feel free to uh, leave any comments if you have any questions, or you can always email us at halosandheathens at gmail.com. Thanks a lot. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. If you liked the video, video would be great if you gave it a thumbs up because that helps us out. And if you subscribe to the channel. We've been doing drinking video, all, video videos all day, so we just thought this would be a good time to make an ending video. Cheers. <laughs>